Uh, my name is Grant Stevens, and I'm an artist based in Brisbane. And um, I work across medium, so I make sculptures, photos, drawings, but mostly um, videos, and especially um, animated text videos. So I tend to accumulate um, a range of different materials when I work, so images, sounds, and texts. The main themes that kind of keep coming up on my work are around language. I guess for me it's about uh, this relationship between screen culture and our lived experiences and trying to work out how we might use certain aspects of screen culture, so film, television, popular culture, to inform our daily lives. I went to um, university in Brisbane at the Queensland University of Technology and I did my undergrad there and then also did postgrad. So that was really where I got exposed, first got exposed to um, video and even the idea that video could be artwork. For me, I think art is um, mostly a process of questioning, questioning what's around us, questioning our experiences and how we communicate with other people, or how we identify ourselves. Um, and I, so I think a big part of that is um, looking at images, looking at films, looking at our experiences and trying to understand them or trying to analyse them more than we might feel comfortable with. Uh, the title of the work of the MCA is Mingling and um, it relates to the work because the work kind of um, is about a social situation involving a, a big group of people. So, I mean, it's kind of about this activity of mingling and the language that we use in mingling. But um, I also wanted to use that title because it's, I think it's one of those words that if you say it enough times, it starts to sound really strange, mingling. The MCA approached me um, to um, develop a work using the names of the donors for the new building. My approach to it was rather than just treat these names as abstract kind of text objects to think about who these people actually are and the kinds of um, connections that there are between these people. Um, I um, developed a script and um, kind of put the names into this loose narrative. And for me, I kind of think about um, my practice as a kind of process of collage in a way. So collaging um, maybe dialogue from real life conversations with um, you know, dialogue from films or um, excerpts from websites or something and trying to see how those things maybe fit together or don't fit together, whether overlap or, or don't overlap. When I'm making my work, you know, I normally develop a kind of idea or a rough framework for making something when it comes time to actually making it and sitting down and going through it, like, you know, editing and watching it back and editing and watching it back, the main thing I think about is, will someone watch this? Is this engaging, whether visually or conceptually or through sound and, and trying to have some kind of hook or um, maybe formal hooks to keep people actually watching it? I think that people always bring their own identities and subjectivities to every work. And this is one of the things I'm most interested in my practice, is trying to see how we engage with um, maybe cliches or conventions, things that are very familiar through popular culture and through our daily lives in different ways. I think I'm always kind of trying to just test out that line between, you know, maybe sincerity or irony, because um, I think that that's something that I have really strongly in my own experiences. With this commission, I knew from the start that it would be on a monitor in the foyer in the new um, building. So um, that idea of it being as an entry point into the museum, but also in a kind of foyer environment was something that I thought about when I was developing the work and thought about that kind of tone or that kind of context. This um, project for the MCA using the donors' names 
kind of mixes an in, a kind of internal monologue. So the text that's animated on screen combines an internal monologue with kind of excerpts of dialogue, you know, between the donors and also between the narrator and some of those donors. And for me, um, you know, mixing these two things together was about trying to um, deal with not only, you know, the kind of social network and, you know, social niceties, but also maybe an underlying anxiety there. And that's something that I maybe identify with is like a social anxiety. The drive for my practice comes from trying to understand my own experiences. So, I mean, I, I try to make works that engage a kind of broad audience in a way, or maybe use, use content or, you know, formal elements that are familiar to people. But often that's because I'm trying to work out my own relationship to this thing. <laughs> I guess the thing I would say um, to people interested in becoming an artist would be that you can't do it halfway. You know, you, you have to really commit to it. It's something that you end up living with 24 hours a day, seven days a week possibly for your whole life. So, and that, for me, that's why it's really exciting as well. So this idea that everything you encounter, everything, every kind of conversation or every film you see is part of, you know, the kind of uh, experience or material that you can draw on in your work. And as an artist, I think, um, and especially going through university and having this kind of drilled into you that you should look at everything and question everything. And so for me that's really exciting and that's why I make work, is to continue to look at things in new ways and question how and why they're put together.